Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you are not doing well, I am happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. So we have three different groups. We have group number one, mouse, group number two, vulture, group number three, frogs. Pause the video if you have to, to select your group and let's get into the reading. Hello, group number one. So you guys selected the mouse energy and this message is basically what you're not seeing about your current situation. So something with the mouse energy coming up is giving me the feeling of like, you know, like to me, it's like taking too much time going over and over the details. I feel like it's like I'm all for being cautious, but I feel like it's like it's at a point where you're trying to be cautious about something to the point where you might be talking yourself out of actually doing that thing, whatever that thing is. The first card represents the current situation. And with the current situation, um, we have the the nine of wands in the upright position and with the nine of wands in the upright position just talks about like, you know, when it comes to this current situation, it talks about like some kind of a struggle as far as something that requires a lot of your energy, something that requires for you to like basically fight another battle. Like for example, it's like, say for example, someone who is in school and they're on their last year of school. And it's like going through school, the process has been so strenuous, it's been so stressful, but it's like the current situation requires for, you know, that kind of person to have strength to take it to the next level. So it's like you are, you know, working on something in your life where it's like, you know, it requires a lot of physical energy. It, like, it requires a lot of bravery. And with the mouse card coming up, you know, or you selecting the mouse pile to me, it's like underestimating yourself and underestimating like the power that you have or the fearlessness that you have to bring to this thing. And when it comes to say your energy, your energy, I love your energy. Your energy is the three of cups in the upright position. So with your energy being the three of cups in the upright position, to me, it's like you already know. You already know that like you got what it takes. You already know that you're going to make this thing happen. And the card that shows up for say challenges is the judgment energy and to me with the judgment energy showing up having to do with challenges i feel like the challenge for you is just patience it's almost like i want this thing to happen and i want it now and it's like patience is the challenge and when it comes to the solution is the ace of wands and the ace of wands coming out as the solution card tells me that like, yeah, you need to just go for it. You need to just take action when it comes to this thing, whatever this thing is already. And um, also too, I pulled out some spirit animal cards to help me to get deeper into the message. So when it comes to say like, you know, your energy, the Phoenix energy shows up for you. So to me, it's like you're very transformative in the sense that I'm getting the vibe with this group. So maybe I may have overspoken in the beginning in the sense that with the mouse, I talked about like, say, maybe, you know, like, like overthinking things and maybe someone being a bit timid. And I could definitely see that. But like, the phoenix energy here i'm just getting like this impulsive feeling like hurrying up type of feeling it's like i want to hurry up and i want to just get this done and now that i'm looking at the mouse energy i'm seeing how someone could possibly like getting ready to skip some steps and it's like the last thing you want to do when it comes to this thing 
that you're thinking about is skipping the steps. It's like every single step is necessary. It's like I go to the spider and the spider weaving the web and how intricate and detailed the web is. Like the feeling that's coming to mind is like something I've done in the past where it's like I'm getting ready to take a test or I'm in the process of taking the test. And the test is so long and there's so many questions to the point where it's like I just start filling stuff out. Like I just start guessing type of vibe because it's like, you know, I got so overwhelmed to where I'm like over it. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's a gamble. So I feel like when it comes to this group, like with the mouse energy, it's like you guys could be a bit like, you know, worried about the worst and trying to take your time and, you know, go about things in a way. But at the same time, there's this overwhelming feeling of like, I just want to get over this already. I just want to hurry up. Like say with some people, it could be a situation where it's like you recently met someone and you guys are getting to know each other, but you kind of want to speed up the connection. It's like, it's like you wish you guys had already got past the honeymoon stage and you guys are so comfortable where it's like you could just call them whenever you want or even stop by and go by their house whenever you want. That type of vibe. You know, when we get so comfortable with someone, it's like, you know, basically it's like less boundaries you have to deal with, even though boundaries are extremely important. But just get to the point where it's like not so many rules, not so many restrictions, not so many boundaries type of vibe. And, you know, it's like you just want to get there where it's like where you might be now in the situation is you got to take your time. You got to take your time and you got to go with the flow of the situation, not necessarily go with your flow or the person's flow, but the flow of the connection. And when I say flow of the connection, like it brings me to the thought of like, I hate when people say just go with the flow. Like for you to tell me to just go with the flow, that means that like, you want me to go with your flow because the flow is our flow. You know what I mean? So to me, you know, check in to see what the flow is of the situation. The flow is meaning if it's you and another person, what is the flow of you and that person together? And try to like pace yourself opposed to wanting to speed things up. Because say if this has to do with someone else, I don't get the feeling that it's the other person that wants to speed things up. I get the feeling that it's um you who picked on this reading is the one that kind of wants to speed things up and just like get moving already and i feel like you know a lot of the times when we are in that kind of mindset like you know especially with say dating and say you're the one who just wants to hurry up you're in a rush like you might find that like in past situations that might have been the approach where it's like you hurry up and you get to know the person only to get bored with them as quick as you know you ran in got to know them and it's like okay now it's like finding little things that's wrong with them you know why you can't be with them but it's not really that there is these things wrong with them that you can't live with it's just that you've explored and saw everything that you need to see. So now you're ready to move on. Like I'm getting like, say, strong Sag, sun, moon, rising places, placements or ninth house stellium or even strong Gemini, sun, moon, rising uh, placements or even third house stellium or Gemini or Sag in the 10th house or sixth house placement. You know what I mean? But this need for variety and curiosity. So it's like the minute you know, you're allowed to kind of like dive into something and explore it. It's so easy for you to get bored with this thing. And it's like, okay, what's next? It's like, okay, I've had enough of this, you know, what's next? So that's one aspect that I'm seeing. So it's like, yeah, it's super important to just pace yourself and take one, take things one step at a time when it comes to whatever it is that you're working with, when it comes to whatever it is that you're working on. So it's like, yeah, with the mouse energy being the energy, why you selected this pile. I think about like, say, you know, someone thinking of all kind of ways, strategizing all kind of ways, how they could speed things up or move things along when it comes to something. And I'm just getting like speeding things up and moving things along is definitely not the way to go. It's like every step along the way is necessary. Everything is important. And with the um, nine of wands energy here showing up for like basically the current situation, 
I can tell this is something that's not new to you. And because it's something that's not new to you is why it kind of feels like boring or mundane or something like that. You know, something about the current situation just feels like a battle and it could feel like a battle because it's not new to you and you want to skip past this stage or it could feel like a battle because it's just not something that you're truly interested in and you want to skip past this stage to get to the next level, you know, to experience something else. It's like the person that's in college for one thing, but basically they need to add that to their belt in order to do something else. It's like the thing that they're learning about isn't the thing that they're the most passionate about. So it's almost like, I just want to get over this. You know what I mean? That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting with this group. The need to just get over this. And the challenge is judgment. The challenge is patience, waiting for, you know, waiting for that day. It's like, for some people, it's like waiting for graduation day. For others, it's like, you know, waiting for that person to ask them to be with them you know, to like, you know, to be their partner type of situation. But like the solution to things is just to take action, take, I mean, to take, yeah, take action, meaning take things one step out of, take, take things one step at a time and enjoy the process as you move one step at a time, opposed to trying to hurry things along and, you know, getting to wherever in your mind that you feel like you need to get to. Because I look at the spider's web and just look at the intricate detail of every web and how it's woven and how it's needed to, how it's necessary to wove it, to weave it that way. You know, I look at how, you know, all the experiences that we have in life and how they're necessary because each experience is like a, um, each experience is like a class. It's like life is a big, life is, is a school, life is a college. And each experience or interaction with other people is like a prereq for the next big experience. You know what I'm saying? So what it is that you're going through now, like see it as a prereq. It's something that's necessary when it comes to your journey, something that you need to experience. Because when I look at the Phoenix energy, I feel like you're so used to transformations where it's kind of fun. Transformation meaning is, is, is like change, the idea of change and experience the death and rebirth like i mentioned with the sag and the gemini energy or even strong life path five birthday number five month five year five or same with the number three energy it's like this need for constant stimulation so when things aren't like moving fast and exciting that's when you get bored and try to find all these kind of reasons to hurry up the process you know, to strategize, to get past the stage that you have to get past. You can't skip it. It's like the person who, you know, basically has someone else do their homework um, and do their tests because it's like it's boring to them only to graduate and get into the field and start messing up and even hurting people or doing dangerous things because they never took the time to learn what was necessary, what was a big part of the entire process. So be patient, pace yourself. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to this thing, I know that's the last thing you want to hear because you just want to hear like it's happening tomorrow. But like, yeah, the process is necessary and you just have to be patient about it because with this, you just want to get to celebration already. And trust me, I feel you. And yeah, things are going to work out definitely when it comes to this thing that you're curious about because you always get what you want. And like, say if it's a person you're pursuing and interesting, interested in, best believe like them slowing you down is even more exciting because it like gives you something to work for. It's almost like, you know, basically a wanting to conquer type of feeling for some people who selected this pile, you know? So it's like, yeah, like say if it's a person, like I said, you know, basically them going with their own flow and not allowing you to like dominate the situation probably is beneficial, whether it's even though it might be a hard thing to see is beneficial because I feel like when it comes to this group, you guys like challenges and don't care too much for like pushovers or people who let you get your way, even though you could be a bit aggressive or pushy or a lot of people naturally might lay down and just give you your way type of situation. But um, yeah, group number one, this was your message. It was such a pleasure sharing it with you. Um, if you'd like to book a tarot card reading or check out the exclusive content that's shared weekly on Patreon, which includes 
pick a card readings. The link is in the description box below. If you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, group number two. So you guys selected the vulture energy. The first thing that is coming to mind when it comes to the, ver the vulture energy is the fact that you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Something about what you're doing or working on, you might find yourself feeling lost or confused about the path to take or how to go about making this thing happen. And basically what's coming to mind is like, all you have to do is like look around at your community all of the answers and solutions that you need are actually right in front of you and i say that because when i think of the vulture energy i think of how much they work together as a team in the sense like once one notices food is available just their circling um flying pattern you know kind of like alerts the others that it's time to come and eat and you know when it comes to say you like you might want to do something and you might not know how to go about it when all you have to do is just take a look around at the people who you admire and look up to who are already doing what it is that you want to do and it's not that you're going to imitate them or copy them but you know you observe them to see the template or see the pattern and maybe you can like imitate them to a certain extent but like be true to yourself. You know, you don't have to imitate them or copy them to the point where you copy their name. It's like, I'm, I'm thinking of someone who's sitting in the class copying someone else's test to the point that they copy the person's name off of the test, how much they're not paying attention. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to say, yeah, you could just learn from what's already present. Everything that you need is already present. That's something that I'm getting about your current situation. I'm getting that you're putting a lot of energy and time into things that's unnecessary, even money into things that are unnecessary that are actually free and available to you on the internet. And it's just a matter of just like taking the time to look for these things. But I'm also getting the feeling that like the need to like the feeling that like, you know, these things are missing is also like the mind's way of distracting you from like getting started it's like it's always it's it's like as long as you're in the researching phase the researching phase of trying to figure things out basically it's another reason why you're not ready to get started so i feel like it's like this whole you know reinventing the wheel or piling all this work onto your plate is a justification as to why not to get started and i feel like yeah like basically everything you need is out there i'm gonna be selecting four of these cards the first one is going to give me some insight on your current situation and basically the current situation is the five the seven of wands in the upright position and as you can see that person is fighting this battle this card comes after the six of wands where the person appears to win something to where it's like they're up on a high horse but then this person goes from being up on a high horse up on a high hill defending themselves against the same people that was walking amongst them so when it comes to say this group i feel like the defense thing is not necessarily that you have to defend yourself against your peers I feel like when it comes to this group, it's almost like a burden or responsibility that you may put on yourself why you feel like this is necessary or you need to do this. What I'm getting from this group, I get like strong Virgo, Taurus, um, Capricorn energy, sun, moon, rising place, or even sixth house. And you might say, how do you get that when this is a fire energy? Wands is fire. It's just, I'm looking at this person and the message that I gave earlier about not needing to reinvent the wheel and just thinking of like when it comes to practical energy and how practical energy um can be so practical and you know when i think of practicality to me practicality is more like system systematic kind of energy systematic kind of thinking and when it comes to say doing starting new things or creating new things it's like you know, imagination is necessary for that. This is where we allow ourselves to go into that childlike nature and the earth energy kind of struggles with that. Because when it comes to this group, I feel like, you know, if you were allowing yourself to tap into that childlike earth 
that childlike energy, you know, you would realize that like, you know, you would realize and see the opportunities and the solutions around you type of vibe is what's coming to mind. And the card that's representing your current energy, wow. Okay, so the card that's representing your energy is the Five of Wands. And this is the Five of Wands in the upright position. And the Five of Wands in the upright position shows these people that are in competition. Like basically, you know, the Five deals with sudden and unexpected changes. The Wand energy deals with taking action. So these people are like competing for a spot. Or this could be someone who has too many irons in the stove meaning that a person that's doing too much there they got too much going on with this card in the reversal position to me this could be like you know someone who doesn't feel the need to compete in the sense that someone who f has a hard time like putting themselves out there and is afraid to compete out of fear of disappointment or losing but then the next thing that's also coming to mind with this energy in the reversal position is that um is is like a feeling of defeat to a certain extent it's like a feeling of defeat to the point where a person doesn't even want to try you know that's something that is coming to mind so it's like when it comes to say this overall energy and the message that i gave you know with the vulture about like let your community help you and how much the help and everything you need is already present What's coming to mind is a person struggling with analysis paralysis. And I feel like that takes me back to like, say, Virgo energy or Earth energy. You know, someone who's looked into so many different things to the point where they're exhausted. It's like the person that's watched so much videos or consumed so much information on a certain topic to the point that they're exhausted. And I feel like the reason for exhaustion is not that all of the information that you've consume but it's the fact that like when it comes to everything that you've consumed it's like instead of taking away from it what works for you it's like you're confused as far as which one to follow and i feel like the first thing is to tap into yourself and see like you know basically how could you be authentic to yourself on this path that you're on and which information fits you you know what i'm saying so it's like you apply what fits you and you leave behind what doesn't and also to when it comes to this group, I feel like visualization might be an issue in the sense that the, it, the outcome that you have for a certain situation might not be something that's genuine to you. When I say outcome that's genuine to you in the sense that, you know, say, for example, someone wants to be a lawyer and it's like overall they say, yeah, I want to be a lawyer. And maybe, you know, their mom or dad has always looked up to a certain kind of lawyer. So they see themselves as that kind of lawyer and overlook the fact that they're the kind of person that's big on entertainment and always consuming information on entertainment and something that bothers them the most is when you know entertainments are entertainers are robbed or you know don't make the best this legal decisions which leaves them like messed up in life so it's like deep down like this person's holding a vision based on something that their parents is into when deep down they would make a great entertainment lawyer you know what i mean so this is where a person's overlooking their natural interests and because they're overlooking their natural interest, that's where the confusion of which way to go when the way to go is go within, go with what speaks to you, what is important to you. This card represents the challenge and this makes so much sense for the challenge. And this card is the solution. So when it comes to say the card showing up as challenge, the challenge is the page of cups and the page of cups to me is like the imagination. It's like what I was saying earlier, why I feel like this energy reminds me of earth energy. You know, you guys who pick this energy is giving me big time earth energy because with the page of cups in the upright position, to me, the challenge is like not tapping into your imagination and not allowing yourself to be silly, like taking yourself way too serious. And from taking yourself way too serious, it's like you're acting from your ego and doing things in a way to preserve an image that people don't even really care about. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're trying to preserve this image and it's causing you to come off more robotic and not allowing you to be authentic and true to yourself. When it comes to say the solution, the, the king of wands is in the reversal position for the solution. So with the king of wands in the reversal position for the solution, I feel like 
when it comes to the solution, it might be best for you to like take a step back. It's it's like take a step back from um take a step back from what it is that you're working on. It's like the reason why I say that is because I remember when I would be working on something and even now whenever I'm working on something and while I'm working on it, like I'll get stuck and then I'll get so in my head and exhausted and overwhelmed where it's like if I take a step away from it, I'm able to see things so much more clear. And then from being able to see things so much more clear, then I'm able to go back and like transform the situation because with the elk showing up when it comes to say the solution, I look at the elk energy and the elk is looking in the past the same way the vulture is looking in the past. So those two energies is telling me the importance for you to retrack your steps and reflect, reflect on how you've been doing things and why you've been doing things the way you're doing things. And basically what's not working about the way how you've been doing things and how you could do things different moving forward. Also to the oyster energy showing up, you know, representing say like, you know, the overall situation or even your energy with the oyster energy. I'm, I'm seeing the importance of like, pressure and patience and going through what it is that you're going through and know that when you get through the other end, you're going to be grateful for everything that you've been through because everything, every, every bump and bruise will be worth it. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like the kid who is proud of their bruise or their battle scars to show their friends how cool they are. It's not that you need to show or let anybody know how cool you are, but like, yeah, basically it's like, it's like the pressure will be worth it. That's what's coming to mind. But right now, when it comes to the current situation, it's good for you to stop and reflect on how you've been doing things, why you do things the way you want to, you're doing, how you've been doing things and why you're doing it the way you've been doing it. Be honest about whether it's working for you or not. Also be honest about the visual, the, the image that you are aspiring to. It's like, what does success look like for you? And when it comes to the path that you're on, will will this path that you're on get you there? Those are some questions to ask yourself because the biggest thing that's coming out more than anything is that a lot of you guys have definitions of success in mind that doesn't belong to you. And the definition of success that you have in mind basically comes with a roadmap. You know what I'm saying? And if you're following that roadmap to get to that definition of success when deep in your heart something else is there you're going to keep showing up to this destination and not feel fulfilled you know this is where the person starts the business or gets the partner they thought they wanted or the job or graduate and they still feel empty something's missing because that's not what's in their heart so like overall what's more important right now at this time in the game is to stop what it is that you're doing re and reflect you know step away from this thing that has been consuming so much of your time and energy and reflect when i say reflect you could step away and pull out your journal and just talk like you're talking to god like you know say you know i'm confused if you are confused say please show me a solution show me the way like speak you know write it out write out your questions write out your concerns and then just leave it alone and allow the universe to send the people or the messages that will show you the way and just be open to how the guidance will come to you it'll not come to you the way you think it'll come to you or the timing that you think but just trust and know that everything you need is coming to you Group number two, it was such a pleasure sharing this with you. If you're still here with me, I'd love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a orange heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, group number three. So group number three, when it comes to the frog energy like the first thing that's coming to mind is like you know when a balloon has blown up so much past like its capacity for air to the point where it's going to bust because um it's past the capacity for air but the reason why i'm getting that image is because i feel like a lot of you who selected this pile may have been going through something and pretty much haven't allowed yourself to take a deep breath. You know when you feel so stressed or overwhelmed within a situation to where it's like you stop breathing 
and every now and then you'll get small amounts of air but not allowing yourself to really like take a deep breath in i feel like with the frog energy like for the first time my attention is just going to the raindrops that's going that, that's falling on the frog's back and i think about the frog and how the frog is balanced between earth and water and when i look at the frog energy i feel like you guys are operating more in your practical side of things it's like you're making sense of things instead of allowing yourself to feel what it is that you feel you know what i mean it's like say for example something looks great on paper but it just doesn't feel right or maybe someone's doing you a favor or something's you know basically something's happening in your life and it looks good but something about it just doesn't feel right or maybe you're going through something and it's like you won't allow yourself to stop and feel what it is that you're going through and whenever we're experiencing or at this time in our lives this is when we'll find ourselves like you know turn the, the turn on say youtube in the background and have a video like this one running while you're like scrolling on something else it's like a multitasking with a bunch of distractions in the background because the thought of sitting in silence is so it is so scary or it just feels like something to avoid the thought of sitting in silence and i feel like it's like avoiding yourself and your true feelings or true emotions when it comes to something and i feel like you know when it comes to say you know what you're not seeing if you allow yourself to feel you know what I mean? That will tell you the truth of the situation that you're in. Because like, say, for example, someone's in a relationship or in a work situation and maybe your boss or your partner is mistreating you. And when I say mistreating you, maybe they're not mistreating you as far as their concern. You know what I mean? Maybe this is their personality and their character doing whatever it is that they're doing. But it's not in alignment with, say, you and and who you are so in the process of them being you it's like they're hurting you in the process of them being them you know what i mean so to me it's not that like they're a bad person or you're a bad person it's just not it's a situation that's not in alignment but then at the same time you guys did cross path so this is where you know this is where i would ask myself like it's like what is it about me that what is it about me or how am I showing up that supported this kind of situation to be an ongoing situation, if it's an ongoing situation? If it's something that happened once or an experience, if it's a negative experience or something that happened once and you called it, you know what I mean? You asserted yourself in whatever way you know how and whatever way is best and it's changing, then to me, you know, that could have been a learning opportunity in the sense that you know showing you how you're creating boundaries and the importance of boundaries but like say if you're not asserting any boundaries maybe that might be might also be the lesson of the situation as far as the importance of asserting boundaries like the more aware i become of myself is the more aware i become of others and i see other people like you know being so generous in moments when you know they get lost in the moment and they offer what it is that they don't that they're not fully equipped to give and you know i'm able to say no thank you even though i appreciate their generosity but i'm able to say no thank you because i can tell that they're lost in the moment and it is their nature to overdo or overcompensate um, even when it's not necessarily coming from the heart. Instead, it's coming from a place of like wanting to be like, you know, a place of worth, seeking self-worth. You know what I mean? So it might be a situation where you're giving too much and it's like you're over giving or overcompensating or over allowing comes from a place of lack of worth and wanting to be liked and wanting to be accepted and everyone is not aware enough to not take advantage of that you know so i feel like with a lot of people who's like this pile it could be a situation where someone else has high someone else you know operates from a place of boundaries and is taking advantage of your lack of boundaries and it's not even that it's their intentions to take advantage of your lack of boundaries it's just that you've never 
is that, you know, the way you show up says that everything is okay. So if the way you show up says that everything is okay, they're assuming everything is okay. You know what I mean? It's that kind of vibe. It's like you leaving candy out on the porch for the kids who want to take candy to come and get candy. And one kid comes and takes all the candies. And it's like, you know, that kid should have been considerate, but they weren't. And the candy is there and they took it all. And it just is what it is. You know what I mean? So it's like, if you weren't okay with someone taking all the candies or one kid taking all the candy, then, you know, you should have been monitoring the candy instead of just leaving it, assuming that everyone would do what you would do in a situation like that. So I'm going to be selecting four cards and the first card is going to represent the current situation. And the second card is your energy in the current situation. So when I look at the current situation and your energy in the current situation, I feel like the current situation is one where, you know, you might be dealing with, say, turbulent thoughts that really has you feeling emotional within yourself. And it goes back to the frog energy with not allowing yourself to feel your emotions. At first, when I, you know, got on this pile, the thing that came to mind is someone not allowing themselves to cry. It's like, when's the last time you've cried a good cry? And that's something that's really important, you know, because when it comes to the current situation, for some people, it could be a situation where it's like you're a part of a third party situation and you found out that your partner is being disloyal or lying. Or it could be a situation at work where it's between you, your boss and someone else and you're fighting for a position. But like when I look at the three of swords, I just think of how much like, you know, how much mental energy, mental and emotional energy and turbulence this is consuming within a person. And when I, and, and this could also be like maybe something you're working on. Maybe you're trying to get to know, get to understand something. And the Three of Swords could represent you, the thing that you're trying to learn and, and, and certain negative traits that you need to conquer that's getting in the way of your success. You know what I mean? It's like, say, for example, someone is learning how to, let me see, let's say, for example, someone's learning investing and, you know, it's them and the whole investment process and they also struggle with greed. So instead of like taking steps that are, you know, instead of taking calculated risks, you know, they plan out these calculated risks, but then go against it because greed gets the best of them. So that could be another situation where it's like there's three things involved. It could be people, you and two others, work related or even romantic, or it could be something you're trying to understand and, you know, certain bad habits that you have that are getting in the way. When it comes to your energy, the six of pentacles is in the reversal position. So to me with the six of pentacles in the reversal position, it would almost feel like, you know, you're exhausted when it comes to say, um, you're exhausted, you know, you feel depleted when it comes to say giving or participating in this thing. It's almost like you have no more to give. You know, the six of pentacles deals with like, say, you know, finances or practical giving on a practical level. The number six deals with community, deals with community, family, responsibility, and love. And again, pentacles is practical things. So to me with this in the reversal position, I think of someone who feels like, you know, it's almost like someone who feels bankrupt, someone who feels like, you know, they've given out so much to where they have no more deposits to give. You know, that's the kind of feeling when it comes to this group. It's like, yeah, not have, it's like wanting to give more, but not feeling like you don't have any more to give. And I feel like, you know, um, I feel like for a lot of you that comes with like, like I said, overdoing it, over giving, it's like not having proper boundaries, saying no, you know, instead of saying yes. And the Knight of Pentacles is in the upright position. Um, so with the um dealing with challenges. So with the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position dealing with challenges, I get the feeling that for say a lot of you, like it might be financial situations that you're worrying about. It's like to me, it's like say you started a new job and 
the pay is just not as much as you thought it should be. But with the Knight of Pentacles here, I feel like there's an opportunity for growth. There's plenty of opportunity for growth. And say if it's a romantic situation, you know, or like I mentioned, you're trying to learn something. It's like, it's like to me, what's coming to mind, it's almost like you wanting things to happen overnight. It's like, say someone's learning something or started a business and the business is slowly starting to bring in, you know, bring in income but it's small amounts. With the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position, this is telling me that it has the opportunity to grow into something bigger. And when it comes to, say, the solution, the Wish Fulfill card is in the reversal position. With the Wish Fulfill card in the reversal position having to do with solutions, I'm thinking about, like, basically your expectations. Your expectations and I want to say get your hopes up but to me there's nothing wrong with like having your hopes high and expecting the best but the issue is when we put time constraints on things and assume that things should happen within the time that we say they should happen and assume that things should happen the way how we assume they should happen and i feel like that's a big issue that's the biggest issue and when it comes to say like the solution the b energy is here so with the b energy showing up for the solution to me this is telling me the importance of like holding your head down and just getting to work and focusing on the work that's at hand and not keep popping your head up looking for validation to see how well you're doing or how well you're not doing. This could be a situation too where it's like it's not even the, if it's a love situation, it's not even that the other person is cheating or something like that. It could be that you feel like they're putting something over you. And I feel like, you know, it's important for us to feel seen and also see the people in our lives, but then sometimes we can ask for what that person does it isn't equipped to give it's not in their nature and then we say they're hurting us because they're not doing what it is that we want them to do and that's not fair especially if that's who they've always been and we're projecting onto them and wanting to them to be something that they're not and with the scorpio energy showing up on this side also to me I feel like control might be a big issue here. You know what I mean? Trying to control situations, things, or people that you have no control over. It's a matter of realizing like, okay, this is the work environment. Can I live with it or not? This is my partner. Can I live with it or not? It might take five years for me to become a master at this thing. Can I commit this long or not? You know what I mean? It's like, accepting the reality of a situation or first seeing what the reality of a situation is and ask yourself can i live with that reality because i feel like with this solution card here the wish fulfilled energy is like having these expectations that might be unrealistic for your situation is what's causing the depression or the disappointment or the sadness opposed to just being patient and allow things to play themselves out. You know what I mean? Like I remember when I was younger, when I would just, you know, basically try to make wishes and wake up the next day and the wish wouldn't happen and my heart would feel like it's broken. And I would feel so devastated and exhausted and sad and just feel like it's not fair or the universe just doesn't love me. You know what I mean? Like that and things like that when it was just about patience. And then while I would get so upset and overwhelmed or worked up, like basically I would put negative energy into the air and then slow down my manifestation. You know, so when it comes to this group with the Scorpio energy coming out, to me, stop trying to control things, even though I know that's easier said than done, because I feel like for those of us who have control issues, our control issues come from a place of not feeling safe before and wanting to make sure you know, you, you create a safe environment for yourself. But at the same time, it's like the only thing we can control is ourselves. And why not turn that control energy around to, you know, working on controlling your emotions, controlling your expectations, controlling you and not the things outside of you. And when it comes to say a lot of the people who select this group, I don't even feel like it's that you use aggression or direct try to control the people around you. I feel like for some people, it, it could be a situation where a person over gives and gives way more than they can afford to give and just assume that the other person should know to like, you know, basically to, should know to give back. And that's not always 
the case. You know what I mean? It's like control looks different for everyone. It's not always uh, um, overted. It, it, at times it could be coverted. And our intentions determines the outcome of every given situation. So it's like when we find ourselves disappointed and upset because someone didn't return a favor, it's like we got to ask ourselves, like, you know, if this favor was so if this favor was so genuine, then I wouldn't be I wouldn't feel robbed right now. If I gave how do, why do I feel robbed when I gave this thing away genuinely? You know what I mean? And that's when we question ourselves and, you know, maybe it wasn't genuine. Maybe I had expectations and didn't realize it, you know, but like pain is a bookmark that whole space for our transformation. So discomfort can definitely help us to see and understand certain things about ourselves that we tend to often overlook. Group number three, it was a pleasure sharing this message with you. If you would like to book a tarot card reading or learn about the exclusive content that's shared weekly on Patreon, and some of that is pick a card readings that are only for Patreon, the links are in the description box to learn more about the readings or the Patreon community. If you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a yellow heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.